Executing good ideas are easier than you think. You've probably heard the following, that the ideas are worthless, but execution is what matters. Or genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Unless you can act on them, you can keep on dreaming. But thanks to total living, I do the following to execute big ideas super fast. One, showing consistently up at the planned time. After breakfast, I set aside usually 90 to 120 minutes every day, mostly for product development. It is when I write my books or do other related important things to my business that I'm not automated or outsourced yet. And being in hyper-focus mode, I'm able to get a solid amount of work each day and progress fast. But here's the key, I don't work more than 120 minutes a day, that's two hours. Otherwise it's easy to get exhausted and burned out. You have to pace yourself in order to be very fast long term. Number two, be okay with going very slow when doing something new. Because let's be honest, it's better to go slow than never start. And I mentioned previously four phases of productive action, which are explore, optimize, automate, and outsource. Most ideas fall into the explore phase since they have never been done before. And if your expectations are to go fast when you don't know what you're doing, you tend to procrastinate on the activity altogether. But by allowing yourself to take the time, can enjoy the process and make it sustainable regardless of outcome. So it's pretty powerful. Three, relax as much as possible and capture the ideas. If you want to be, get breakthrough ideas, do nothing. I really mean that. Inner presence, which is the state that you will get in when you do nothing, is when your brain starts associating on its own, like daydreaming. It can only do it when you're not paying attention outside of yourself. And it is where excellent and unexpected ideas come from. So when you get them, write them down immediately. You can buffer it to the next day if needed. And lastly, four, always be ready to pivot. And as I argued in multiple places, I'm against planning and goal setting in general, unless you can easily switch. Breakthrough ideas require their own special attention. Thus, I often change course immediately. And by adjusting to the present reality, you're more able to execute and take advantage of opportunities before it's too late.